business story. Independent power producer, Sun Owner Sogli Power Ghana Limited, says it has received 30 million owed. It's by government for power purchase. According to management of the independent power producer, though the finance ministry has made the announcements, the money is yet to be received. Sun Owner Sogli, a major power producer in Ghana, suspended operations two weeks ago due to delays in receiving 259 million owed for electricity supply. The company says it requires a significant capital injection to address its operational debts and resume production. This follows the shutdown of its 560 megawatts power plant due to the outstanding debts from Electricity Company of Ghana. The broader energy sector faces persistent debt issues, prompting state stakeholders to call for improved transparency and timely payments to maintain stability. Reports suggest that despite requests from Ghana Grid Company Limited to resume operations and ease the mountain pressure on the national grid, San Ona Sogli has remained firm, citing a lack of operational funds. And now on the back of that, we are joined by uh, Benjamin Isia. He's the Executive Director for Center for Environmental Management and Sustainable Energy. Good afternoon and welcome to Newsbeat, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Well, briefly, what is your thoughts on, on this back and forth between government and the independent power producer? Uh, first of all, uh, governments rushing to communicate on uh, an ongoing negotiation uh, creates uh, bad feet and mistrust uh, between uh, two parties. I think that governments should have waited uh, for uh, every process of the negotiation uh, should be completed before it comes out uh, to communicate on it. Now, uh, you've alleged that uh, you've made some payments. Uh, Sonana Sogle is also claiming that the payment have not hit the accounts. Uh, this particular uh, miscommunication on the part of government uh, doesn't serve the interests of uh, these two parties in this negotiation. Because whether we like it or yes, we need Sonana Sogle to start generating. Otherwise, uh, the country will be plunged into uh, severe uh, power outages. Right. Let, let, let us understand the impact of um, if Asog, Asogli um, shut down. Um, how, how does it affect, I mean, the country or affect our power supply? The, the, the impact is already being felt. Uh, so the, so produces uh, 530 megawatts of power. We know uh, Pon Tema plant uh, is not doing 200 uh, megawatts of power. We know Tema, Tema plants is not doing, uh, the, one and two are not doing about 170 megawatts of power. We know Senate is not doing about 100 megawatts of power. Right. We know ENI, which uh, supplies uh, natural gas to some of these uh, Tema plants, I know also the, we need 519 uh, million dollars to uh, buy uh, natural gas and other liquid fuel. We do not, we do not have that fund. So someone using his own money to procure natural gas and generate would have helped us in terms of improving our dependable capacity. But since someone has stopped pro producing or generating electricity, we've lost about 500 megawatts of power that would have created and supported our various households. That's why today, as we're speaking. Uh, various parts of the country are experiencing low shedding. For example, 